Hello, hopefully this will be the quickest review for the uh, Springfield XDS 45 uh, that you'll see on YouTube. Uh, nothing wrong with the long ones other than me personally. When I get into something, I want to just see what people think about it. There's a lot of really good reviews on the weapon where people take it and shoot at shooting range and stuff like that. I'm not doing any of that. I'm just going to tell you what I think about it, but I'm also going to field strip it because uh, I did watch one of those lengthy videos to see how to do it. It's very easy, and I'd like to incorporate that. So within maybe a four or five minute video at most, you get a lot of good information. My thoughts on the gun. I am no expert. Uh, I got a 1911. I got shotguns, 22 stuff, but no expert. Uh, but I personally love the gun. I wanted a carry gun. Uh, I didn't have one. I've had my permit for years, but uh, I got no 9 mils. So I didn't want to buy a 9 mil only because it's different ammo that I have to buy now. I do have a 45, I have a 1911, so I buy 45 already. This weapon came out and it's very small, you know, for a 45, it's like I don't need to knock down a bear. I didn't need to have a 45 just because it's a 45. It was attractive to me because I already have a 45 and I don't have to get different ammo. So I'm talking really fast because I'm trying to make this a short review and I apologize for that. But my opinion on the weapon, here it is. This is it. And everyone who's interested has seen them. It is clear. No clip and uh, barrel's empty. Um, I shot, I've shot 100 rounds through two different ones. I rented one, shot a box through it. And this is mine. I just shot, got it today and I shot a box through it. No misfires, no misfeeds. The recoil is very manageable. I think uh, anyone can handle it. Anyone that can shoot a 1911 can, can shoot this one. Uh, I will say it has a little bit more than the 1911. I can only gauge by the way I shoot weapons or whatever. Um, I probably wouldn't give it to a six-year-old kid, but it's very manageable. I shot one hand, weak hand, one hand, strong hand. Absolutely no problems. For the size of the gun, the weight of it, and the fact that it has a bullet the size of my thumb, I think it's very manageable. It's very awesome. So my review of the gun is it's great. I personally love it. I think it's going to be a great carry gun. Uh, I think it's still under two pounds with six, you know, with five in the clip and one in the chamber. I haven't weighed it. I don't know, but I think it's under two pounds. So it's very small. And like I said, it's 45, so I got all that. Uh, you know, that's ammo I already buy. So um, that's it. That's me. I think... I have nothing bad to say about the gun. I hadn't shot that much through it. Other people might have. That's fine. This is just my review. So, field stripping it. I'm going to try and show you real quick. Um, like I say, I've already shown you it's clear. Here is the weapon. Uh, no clip. Make sure there's no clip in it or, or it can't come apart. So, clip's out. It's locked back. I want to turn it around just so you see. The takedown lever right here. you got to slide it up. So, let me slide it up. The gun's brand new, so it's still kind of stiff. Once you slide it up, I'm turning the background just because it's easier for me to do. You release the slide, <coughs> let it go back forward, and then you pull the trigger, and then it just slides forward. That's it for that. And then you take your spring out. Sorry, I'm not showing you. Pop the spring out, and you push up on the barrel, and you can take the barrel out. And that's it for field stripping. I mean, you have the barrel, you have the spring, the slide, and the frame. That's it. <coughs> Excuse me. Now for cleaning, what I did, one thing I noticed, like I say, I'm not a weapons expert, but one thing I noticed is a lot of people don't cover exactly what to clean. I don't know that I'm doing it right, but I'm just going to tell you. If anyone has any comments, please let me know. Of course, I have my cleaning, the rod, the handle. I use a wire brush, the little brass one, brass wire. Run it through a couple times. I only shot a box through it today, but I just, I'm cleaning it just to get familiar with it. And then, uh, then I wiped it dry with uh, this little nice cotton brush here it's also for a 45 and then I took my cleaning solvent which is that there all kinds of name brands and this I ran it through a few times you know with this in there and after I got that done then another set with the oil and I lightly oiled the inside so that's that's for me I also lightly oiled the outside very lightly of the barrel just because it slides through there just I don't know it's just me my mechanical background is friction I like Maybe it's too much lube. The only other thing I do <clears throat> is, of course, like I think like everyone, you want to get these slides where the slide and the frame come together. Uh, put a couple of drops or one drop in each one, let it run down. That, and then this is something I'm not sure whether somebody might say, oh, God, that's wrong, don't do that. But where the firing pin pops out there, I put one drop in there. So that's it. That's it for, for what I do to clean it. Could be wrong, may not, but that's what I do. 
uh, like I say, pull the barrel out, run the brass wire, the brush through it, the cotton, and then the two uh, little pad things with the solvent, and then I lightly lube it with oil. Yeah, you know, just put a drop or two in there and take one of those clean pads and rub it up and down. So now for assembly, for putting it back together, you're gonna to take the slide, you're just gonna reverse it, it's very easy. Put the barrel in, slide it in there, then you put the spring in, and it locks in place right there. And it's in place, that's very easy. And then everything on the frame is still set up. You try and set this up, then you slide it back on. You slide it back and lock it up again. Okay, it's back and locked. Would you take down the lever still up? Yep, over there. Put that down and then let it slide forward and you should be good. Lock both ways, okay? So that's it. That is my review on the XDS. Field stripping is very easy. My 1911 is easy or so they say, but man, I have a, sometimes a hard time putting it back together. I just got this one today. I just cleaned it. I didn't really need to. I mean, I only fired one box through it, but I wanted to get familiar with it. To me, it is, it is a, a great, a great uh, weapon. I really like it. For carry purposes, it's very small. Um, with the clip, it's no, you know, barely any longer, um, and it's very accurate. It shoots very nicely. It's it's very manageable. So I hope this helped. Um, and again, if you have any comments on my cleaning style or whatever, let me know. All right, thanks. Bye.